Okay, welcome to Stock Talk with Nico Criticos. This video is dedicated to Keegan Casala, and the stock we're going to be reviewing today is Canopy Growth, ticker CGC. So uh, this is a Canadian cannabis company, one of the largest market cap cannabis, cannabis companies in the world. And so is the stock down? Yes, it's down 63% in the last year. It's had a really bad year. The revenue has doubled in the past two years. So this just this also gets a check. However, their losses and profitability has actually been getting worse. So they don't get a check for net income. Their price to sales is a 10, which is relatively healthy. So that's going to get a check. Their Ford PE, they don't have one, so they get a no. Um, are they innovative and do they have a moat? I would say yes, because they're into this market of the legalization of marijuana and they're also coming out with lots of different products like vapes and CBD products that are you could count as innovative. So that's going to get a check. Their management, David Klein, I listened to some interviews with him and I listened to their conference call. He doesn't sound too bad or too good, just somewhere in the middle. Um, they did push their, their, their timeline for when they're going to become profitable. So that's actually a bad sign. And then for your, you know, your return on capital, your margins and cash flow, they're all negative. So those all get a no. Uh, the industry is definitely growing. We know that. So I get to yes. Their balance sheet is, it, it's good in the way that it's structured of their assets are more than their liabilities. But if you look back over the past couple of years, their, in, their equity has not been increasing. So that's actually bad. And then they don't pay a dividend and they their share change increased 6% over the past year. So that's bad. That's just diluting the value of the shares. And is big money buying? Well, the hedge funds have actually been decreasing their positions. And that's probably a big reason for the decline in the stock price. And there's no big investors buying it either. So not the best sign there. Um, diverse revenue streams, I would say yes, because they have the flower, they have CBD, they have vape. And they're also operating in Canada and the United States. So that's, you know, pretty fairly diversified. Uh, there's, there's how I said the CEO, David Klein, he seems all right. He was the CFO at Constellation Brands from 2004 to 2020 until he took over at Canopy Growth. So that is a good sign. And they are getting, they are backed by this Constellation Brands. That's also a great thing. They acquired Wana, which is an, uh, the leading edibles brand in North America. That's, that's a good sign. That's a good thing. And they said that they still maintain 13% market share in the Canadian recreational flower market. That's also a good sign. They said they were aiming for 20% in the future. And if they can get to 20%, that'd be a lot better. Uh, right now, how, how I was uh, thinking about earlier was just like the, it's, it's very early on in the cannabis, cannabis industry. And there's so many players that you don't know who's going to go under. You don't know who's going to merge. You don't know who's going out of business and all that. So it's kind of hard to tell, but we'll have to see if they make any more acquisitions and how fast can they get to profitability and how fast can they expand other markets. And also the, the timeline for the legalization of federal or federally legal marijuana, that's also a big factor in this. So you got to keep that in mind, but they, they've been postponing profitability and their cash position has been decreasing over the past couple of years. So that's not a good sign. And then I made this chart comparing other weed companies these are some of these are the biggest company um, cannabis companies in the world like Tilray uh, Kronos Group and Cura Leaf so if you look at this you can see I, I count this price to sales of a 10 I count that as healthy that's not bad for 30 percent revenue growth next year but then you compare it to some other ones a lot of these don't have uh, revenue growth numbers for next year for some reason but if you look at like a company like Cura Leaf, which is a little bit, it's a bigger one, their price to sales is a six and they're expected to grow more than Canopy. So the Cura Leaf looks like a way better deal, especially the, with the fact that they have growing, most of these companies have growing equity stakes besides for Canopy and Chrono. So that's not a good sign. Um, the profit, these are just how many profitable quarters they had in the last four quarters, which most I, I was actually surprised to see some of these two get four out of four because it's that's hard to find. So I kind of understand if they're at this one or two mark, but still, I mean, I don't see why you would want to go for canopy growth if you can get a company like Cureleaf, who's trading at a cheaper valuation, more growth, and 
their equity stake has been growing. So then there's this, there's this other company I found down here. This one's called Schwaz. They're, they're a very small company. I think it's a $60 million company. And they pretty much just operate in Colorado right now with like 20 locations. But look at their revenue. They're, they're at a 1.2 price to sales and they're expected to grow revenue is 108%. That's insane. That's, that's incredible. You're, you're paying such, such a cheap amount right there for huge growth. And they had two out of four prof profitable quarters. That's also good. Growing equity. So to be honest, if I was going to pick one, I'm a little bit more interested in, in a Curaleaf or in a, a Schwaz. Just because Schwaz, this could be like a 10x stock. This is like a penny stock right now, but the valuation is pretty cheap. So I, I'm interested in this one as a more of a speculative play or a cure leaf as a more of a value play. But yeah, how I said, I mean, it's I don't want to say it's out of the realm of possibilities for Canopy to succeed. It's just that it's so early on right now. We don't know who's going to be the leading players. We don't know what's going to happen. So it's very hard to tell who's the winners are going to be. But yeah, that is it for today. That is my analysis for cannabis growth stock and comment below if you guys are buying any cannabis companies.